Shadow here, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2! So, there has been a ginormous fucking patch, of which I will not necessarily profit. Um, the patch was like 8 gigabyte, and if you now launch Divinity Original Sin 2, apparently you get now to choose between Classic Mode and the redefined version, which has all the new goodies, like AI, um, imp no, not AI, uh, UI improvements and a lot of text fixes and whatnot, but sadly the old saves are not compatible, therefore I am forced to play classic mode right now, but you know, arthropod leg, yummy. So we're still in this cave, we beat the witch, finally, and um, now we're going to loot, and then we probably, maybe, soonish, get off this island, maybe, we'll see about that. Yeah, these skull piles, they don't seem to have anything with them. Gold Merat's Aromatic Journal. Okay, let me, let me, uh, see what that is all about. <clears throat> oh god, how long is this? Oh, only two pages, good. Seven, um, seven Aventurists. Oh, that's, uh, seventh, like, Jan... Or some month, seventh of ev of adventures. I've learned of the perfect scent to complete my collection, the rarest bouquet of all, death itself. Spiced with filth and tinged with a sadness, the name of such treasure, Atar of the Blood Rose. The petals of three blood roses, when crushed, will yield this most intoxicating perfume. Twenty third of Junar. I found the location where the blood roses grew, grow, deep underground on this islands of Bracker's Rex. From the bones of his tortured dead, I will journey there to find the blossoms. Oh, sweet nectar, how I long to smell it. Third Germanite. I have arrived in the caverns and none sighted a single rose. Yet one sniff of the air assures me that they're close. I must delve deeper. So, an unfortunate, of, um, well, victim that wanted to find, oh, a tortured soul, um, wanted to find some blood roses and found only blood and death, but that's how it goes. Another arthropod leg, and now we come to the main prize. We have one blood rose, a rare ro that rose that grows from killing fields and Feeds on rotting flesh. Apparently, a consumable for 10 turns it gives you one to each stat, which is kind of cool. Then we have a Radeka's Purging Wand, which is apparently special. We have the Infect skill book. Deals 66 to 73 physical damage. Infect the target with a disease that will spread onto other nearby characters. Note it says characters and not enemies, so. Mm. Diseased characters deal reduced damage with all attacks and have lower constitution. Okay. We'll give this to Seville. Then Redeka's Thorn, a wand, which gives intelligence and hydro sophist. Well, yeah, okay. An unidentified two handed axe. Awesome, but probably not. Uh, actually, I'm an idiot. Because he probably won't be able to identify it anyway, so let's just give that back to uh, to Kali. A ring, boots, and some gold. All right, cool. Let's identify these things. What do we have? Bone splitter. Deals damage, a lot of it. One strength, one warfare. So it's burning for one turn. Eh, not too impressive, but you know, sells for a good price, I'm sure. Knight's promise. Thirteen magic armor, five water resistance, one air torch, two. So wow, that's a fucking good ring. Hello, ring for Kali. Wait, where does Kali? No, Kali has not even a ring yet. Jesus, that's good. I mean. That's like perfect stats for Kali. What kind of summoning does she have now? It's like summoning what? Six? Yeah, summoning six. Impressive. All right, let's see what the boots are all about. The creepers. 
Jeepers, creepers, where did you get those peepers? 12 physical armor, 9 magic armor, water and poison resistance, plus percent dodging. Couldn't only be worn by people with finesse. Ed, why does she have shabby boots? There you go, much better. Also look better. Fit well with the rest of your equipment. Well, there we go. Um, that chapter can be closed, I think. Right? At least I'm pretty sure it can. Uh, oh, there's one more. We have an arthropod leg. Yeah, okay, fine. More we can loot? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's exit this cave and hopefully not get eaten by a freaking dragon. How would that sound to ya? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm still not sure what dragons are in this universe. If they're terrible, if they're nice, I have no idea. They seem to be, like, at least mildly cultured. You know, they, they are uh, capable of speech, which is good. So I can talk to them. What do we even do now with that dragon, by the way? Oh, wait, also, skill book. Uh, where was that? Learn skill. And she can use it immediately, which is nice. Uh, let me just uh, move that around a bit. There we go. Hello, Mr. Winter Dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really, guys? Really? You're such clumsy idiots. All right, at least Kali is here. Let's save again. You see a glimmer of hope flicker across Slane's eyes as he notices your approach. It's quickly doused with a practice scowl of the oft disappointed. Aww. Have you, have you brought it? Or am I to remain a slave? So the thing is, this would be a way to get a perching wand if you wouldn't have any other choice than this. You know what I mean? So. Because we already used the purging wands and we don't have any use for them right now, I think we're gonna offer him, right? Slain rears back in eagerness, grasping the purging wand with razor sharp claws. Before your eyes, the source from within the wand surges into his draconic form, filling him with a light so bright that you must shield your eyes from the glare. Okay. Wow. Oh, you're a dude! The brightness dies down. Squinting, you now see no dragon before you, but the figure of a handsome lizard. A handsome lizard with the same eyes as slain. Not only a lizard, a handsome lizard. <laughs> his eyes still blaze, a piercing silver. A triumphant smile dominates his face as he bows extravagantly before you. Is that normal that uh, dragons turn into uh, lizard people? Slain. At your service. Marvel at his changed form. He's a lizard or a dragon. Neither. Both. I am a dragon knight, the last of my bloodline. Shifting between two shapes is our greatest gift. A dragon knight. Beautiful accent he has. Uh, say you met the awful witch Redeka. Watching her die was your pleasure. Yeah, it was kind of... Uh, what I would have given to hear her death rattle. The memory of it would have lulled me to sleep for the remainder of my days. His speech pattern is beautiful. I like it. Knowing that vile woman rests in pieces gives me great comfort. I'd like to offer you the same. Great comfort? I hope you mean that. When you are truly at a loss. When you have no choice but to back down or perish, you will find safety in my shadow. This, I promise. I have the feeling we just gained a mighty powerful ally here. <laughs> Thank him. Wish him well. All of my thanks are yours, and yours alone. Farewell, my friend. Slane smiles at you and turns to leave. He takes no more than a few steps before he shimmers out of lizard form, blurring in midair back into a majestic dragon that soars away. Beautiful. Bye, Slane. 
Okay, so we get gold, a small thunder rune, an arming cap, a restoration scroll, and what can we get? The Shadow of Whisperer. Intelligence? Ah, that's not really that good. Neither is that. The War Cane. The fortified Body Plate, Finesse and Scoundrel Plus, or the Rucked Pants? Let's just get that. I think that's okay. We'll see if we can actually use it for one of our characters. And the same with the Arming Cap. Uh, let's see, he has a wizard's hat, that is certainly not as good. Let's see, what does he have? Oh, he has a tyrant's helm, that's actually okay. So let's give the arming cap to him. Um, no. Also, not necessarily... Yeah, we'll just sell that, that's fine. Yeah, cool, I think we have pretty much satisfyingly, um... Closed every um, chapter on this island, I think. Right? So I would say it's time to move on. So we go, um, uh, I think, down here and take, take control over this ship. I think that was the plan, if I remember correctly. So let's just try and do that for now. And see what um, what will await us. I still have the feeling it's I not going to be that easy. And the air thrums. Could it be slain? Look, look, it's him. He has come true to his word. Uh, what? Oh, could he have helped us in that that fight? Slain appeared and granted us a boon. We are encouraged for 49 to... Oh, damn. Okay, that's cool. Sadly, we don't really need that anymore. All right, Malady. I think we're ready. Even though I'm still... Also, we're chilled for some reason. Is that also Slain's doing? The others are really... Let's go. Slain. Yep. I, I guess we're boarding the boat, right? We're gonna go to the Lady Vengeance. Melody I think that was the plan. grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. She hops on board behind you. God woken. Wait till she finds out. Salty water wets the gauze in which you're wrapped. The bright sunlight seeps into your bones. The boat bobs forward through the water and Fort Joy shrinks behind you. We made it. We, we, we actually made it. Tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as Godwoken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least on the shoulders of one of them. All right. Now, now, this is going to be interesting. Where are we going next? Are we going to ship around in a boat now? Or what is going on? Or are we just landing at the, the mainland, basically? I wonder. Loading the high seas, it said. yeah Welcome to the high seas. Looking down at your robes, you see they're damp with blood and the ocean spray. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Let this be a lesson to Alexander and his chronic cronies. We will not be held. We made it out of Fort Joy at last. I can't help but wonder if all those people needed to die. No, no, actually, I don't wonder anymore. They kind of deserve that. Don't stand between a prince and his principles. The magisters learned that the hard way. I've no sympathy for those who die in the line of duty, especially as odious a duty as those dead magisters held. A hard fought freedom, sure. But if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. <laughs> That's exactly what I expected her to say. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. <laughs> Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. Kali has taken band of Brachus from the Red Prince using magic pockets. Magic pockets. If any of your party members have an item you need to progress, it will automatically transfer to their inventory. Or to your inventory, rather. Okay. Am I still... There we go. I'm not chilled anymore. How nice. A dead seeker. 
Why are there dead sea? Oh, you. Oh, because they fought over this boat, right? They fought so they could um, man this boat. That's what's going on here, right? We will just s s search them all. Mage's garment. Ooh, that's actually a lot of magic armor. I hope we'll get to a trader soon. A trader with good items or a lot of gold. Red Snapper! <laughs> Kerbin. Holron's Blade. A dagger. Bottle of water. Empty mug. And some gold. We shall climb up the ladder. I want to loot every corpse. Hey, more gold. We're having, like, a lot of gold. We're, we're over 3,000 gold, I think. In the plus right now, which is nice. A sudden diary. Let's see. Today is a momentous one. So momentous, in fact, I have decided to start keeping a diary to record my time on the Lady Vengeance. So one day, should I have family, my children and their children may know of my small involvement in these momentous times. So to begin today, the divine Lady Dallas Hammer of the Order arrived on board. She swept by in all her momentous... He loves that word, momentous glory. Glo gloriousness, I mean. And I fancy that she glanced at me, tiny smile twitched at the corner of her mouth. The hammer smiled at me, possibly. Then she went to the st her state room and there she spoke to the doors. What? I did not hear the whole of the conversation, but I believe she spoke of the principle of fortitude, which is, of course, an important part of both the ethos of the order and the maritime construction. The doors seemed s suitably inspired and opened for her. She glided. Glut? <laughs> That's a good question. Is that a word? She glut inside, and we have not seen her since. I love this. These kind little moments. They're like very human, and I love that. A momentous day. Orders. We have orders. The ship is to see action. An evil band of rebels has landed on the island, and we are to destroy their ship, and perhaps them too. Tomorrow I shall recount the story of our glorious victory. Fortitude is the key. Fortitude shall open the doors. A very, very clear hint to the Lady of War, it seems. Let's see. Um, the escape. Yes, this is closed. Sign of resistance. Closed. The burning pigs. We left Reaper's side without helping the pigs. Oh, we should have saved them all, I guess. Ah, fuck it. We've learned that the password for the Master Cabin is Fortitude. Yes, we did indeed. Deliver us from peril. Maeve. Have we talked to her before? Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. What's going on? The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from Elven Livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. Well, uh, my condolences. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again, her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together, on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Does he... Has he learned uh, or she learned anything s useful before the figurehead attacked? Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something. Warped it somehow. I just don't know what. Interesting. Just remember what I said, Godwoken. If you die, then this was all for nothing. Right, 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 right. Incinerated Seeker. Oh, that's terrible. So if I, I do this... ...is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. Aha. Uh -huh. 
you'll see a mark on the side of the figure. It's a living scar used to enslave elves. Or lizard, you spot a mark on the... F oh, it's baiting. It's, 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 it's both the same. Um, the living scar. Lizards and scholars will know that. Okay. At that moment, the ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Thank you, ship. Lay your hand. No, we're not laying. No, we're not doing that because that's stupid. It's like when it, when it, it, it explicitly warns you not to do it, and then if you do it, you're, it's your fault. You know what I mean? Nails, hammer, and a bucket. We shall collect these things. All the things. Uh, let's see, a source hound. Ooh, earth essence. Yes, please. More buckets, and buckets with water. I'm overloading myself, ain't I? Hello, Simon. Spare me, Gareth. We got what we came for. This is what success looks like. I wonder how these two are in relationship, you know? I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Ah, our undead Godwoken. I had nearly forgotten. Note the number of bodies littering the deck, as how many ask how many were lost in the battle. Too many. That's what I expected. One too few, actually. What? Alexander, he's alive. Uh no. No, we killed him. Apparently you didn't hit hard enough. Oh come on. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. Well, what, are, what are we doing with him? Is it like a bargaining chip? Question him. Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only Godwoken worthy of ascending. As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. Yeah, we'll get going then. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. All right, ask if you might take a crack at turning the wheel. You're welcome to try, though I doubt it'll help. What Gareth means to say is don't bother. Livewood will only move when it wants to, or in this tub's case, when it's forced to. That's right. The ship's made of an elven ancestor tree, the spirit of which is still trapped in every plank. That's cool. I like that. What we need is a way to control the bloody thing. So I guess you may have any leads on that? The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. Great. These Seekers have such a limited skill set. Oh, she's so mean. We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. Yes. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. They can't like to feel useful, don't they? I'll do my best. It's your best that'll save us all. <sighs> <laughs> I kind of like Malady, actually. She's like the cynical bitch. This <laughs> is really great. <laughs> I don't even if, know if cyn cynical is the right word. Well, okay, so the Red Prince is here. We can't get this ship moving, God Woken. We have every free hand looking into it. Help, if you can. Sure. Ah, there you are. High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey together, wouldn't you say? Sure. Off we go then. I like to have you back in my party, my friend. I don't see why not. What else do we have? Claw hammers, brooms. This is this is just a Skyrim um, way of looting. Everything that has a worth will be coming with us. Of Obviously, that's not the best way to loot in Skyrim by a long shot, but that's what I was doing when I played the game the first time, and that's what I'm doing here. Let's talk to Malady. There you are. I was just thinking of you. Thank you. Tell Malady the figurehead is brand branded with a living scar, the type of skin your kin uses to control its slaves. Naughty lizards. <laughs> 
I really dig her. <laughs> I wouldn't have taken that rune on the figurehead as a slave scar myself. Well done. We'll need to find the song that'll control it then. Well, you'll need to. Hmm. What do you suggest? The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so have the doors downstairs. Everywhere you look, a hunk of wood looking to incinerate or stymie you. Nice. All right. Um, say there's a few things you'd like to ask her. Dying to hear them. Ask how she know she knew you were undead. Yeah, that wa that's what I'm wondering. Well, she gripped my hand, I guess. Malady smiles at you. Bright eyes, cruel mouth. Well, you've eschewed your pretty little mask, haven't you? And besides, I know everything. No, apparently you don't know how to control the ship, so that's definitely not true. Well, we'll, we'll, um, we'll take our leave. Let's see, journal, Lady of War. Huh, well, we go to the, the bowels then. Let's see what we find. I have the feeling we we'll, might find the other companions too that we might be able to hire again. J just in case we want to like switch up, you know? Maybe, I'm not sure about that. We have to find Exter. a way to get this ship moving. We can't let the Magisters catch up with us. We're too weak to fight them again. Okay. I shall um, begin my investigation in here. Solid surface for crafting upon. Good. Um, recipes. We can make some makeshift clops out of long branches and leather scraps. Primitive harpoons. Shifts. Mm, doesn't really give us anything. Yeah, shall we take the anvil with that? No, let's not. Oh, look at that. Mugs of beer. No, I cannot loot that all, even if I would like to. Oh, who's that? That the is silent assist. monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to say something. So there's still captured some mad captured magisters down here, apparently. The silent monk leans from one foot to the other. He seems eager to move. And was that Alexander? No, oh, there's Ifan. Oh, he looks like Alexander because of that stupid robe we gave him. I was just getting used to this seafaring life. You know, we could. Ah, uh, from the look in your eye, I gather it's time to grab my things and get back to work. Yes. Ready. We probably get tired of this view soon enough anyway. I like his style. Okay, what else? Dwarven stew will take some of that. Some good old dwarfish stew. Haha. <laughs> Alright, time to find our last companion. Lots of ballistas. To feel the rolling of the waves. This I'm ship like is really well nice armed. Sleep. Oh look there's beast! Let's team up, you and me. What do you say? Nah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, suit yourself then. He drags a comb through his beard. His face bears the scars of a hearty life, but his whiskers glisten as if glazed by the morning dew. You know, I'll play another run with him at my side and probably Losi and maybe Fane. I think he was called Fane, right? But not right now. Oh, maybe we can give Fane his face back. I must say, you may not be an Eternal, but you are certainly not as temporary as many of your fellows. You handled yourself well. Thanks. Personally, I am just glad that I do not have to walk back to Reaper's Coast. Wind travel may be primitive, but it is at least efficient. Point out that the ship is live wood. It doesn't need the wind to move. Live wood? You have taken a dead elf and carved it into a pleasure yacht. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I love it. I knew you people were barbarians. I had no idea you were sadists too. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no matter. Whatever gets me to Reaper's Coast quickly. I have an excavation site to explore. Ooh, what you will what what is in this excavation site? Tell me. The only treasure worth digging for. Knowledge. Science for the science god. I was investigating a site where several artifacts of my people have been found. Some were even intact. Alas, I was not the only one there. Those red robed idiots were scurrying about too, trampling precious clues under their ignorant boots. They caught me when I failed to correctly respond to their questions. 
and dragged me here. Still, it's good to be on the move again. All right. I'll have my business to get to. Is that so? Perhaps we could find an arrangement that benefits us both. Huh? I need to travel to the Black Pits oil field near Reaper's Coast. But my attempts at staying under the cover have not gone well to date. Given how well you handled yourself in Fort Joy, I rather think you could be of use. And I am certainly useful to you. So, how about it? I travel with you and aid you in your various chores and tasks, while you help me to remain incognito. Ah, not right now. Sorry, Fane. Really? Really? Uh, better off alone than with... Oh. Very well. There's he... no accounting for taste, I suppose. Or <laughs> sense. He thinks very highly of himself. That's uh, so much is clear. Ew! No! Not even looting that! There's a chest. Dirty socks. Great! Only the best loot. Duggan! I think we've met him before. He was in the prison, right? All that fighting will be worth less than nothing if we can't get this tub moving. The tub. And Leia. Leia, come here. I want to talk to you. Malady says if we can get the ship to move, we can go home. She was the one um, that uh, relieved us of our chains, was she not? Uh, at least I think she was. Oh, there's a ship rat. There's a ship rat! Hey, fun! You have a job! Talk to it! Come on! And then uh, maybe we'll go downstairs as well. What are you doing? Um, do you know how to steer the ship? You creatures with your legs and arms and your opposable thumbs. You always want to steer the ship. You need to trust the ship. It knows what it's doing. It dances to the tune. Tell the rat the ship is Dahlia as it can't be trusted. Or to which tune does the ship dance? It goes... La 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 la... Or something like that. It's pretty catchy, but I can't remember how it goes. Good thing Dallas had that book, eh? Hmm, how did she use the book? Oh, she opened it and looked at the marks on the inside. How the hell else? All right, all right. Go to the nose bit of the ship. Open the book, look at the markings inside it, sing the song. That's it. Get it right, and the ship will dance to your tune. Get it wrong, and the ship will kill you. Great. That's always entertaining. For me, anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we need to find the songbook or something? That's weird. We spoke with the rat who recalls Dallas controlled the ship by singing from an old book of songs written in strange language. All right, let's go one deeper. Let's see who we meet here. Sergeant Zrilla. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. So, what'll it be? Oh, so we can just hire mercenaries? Interesting. Didn't know that was possible. Um, Samado. There's something to these doors I'm not seeing. But what? And Han. Well, the god woken, right? Then maybe you can find a way through this damn door. This is the door we can open with, um, what was it? Fortitude, right? Right. There's a mirror down here, which looks n creepy as well, fuck. Say anything else? Bloody magisters. We're still missing Sibyl. There is Losi, which looks a whole lot different than last time. A young woman shifts her weight between her feet, as though swaying her hips to an imaginary beat. She rubs her forehead, her face tight with concern. Her eyes roll up to meet yours, their great black pupils greater and blacker than seem natural, expanding further as they take you in. She smiles, and the worry melts from her face. Hey, it's you. Well, 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 we meet again. They told me you'd mosey your way down here eventually. They? Malady, the Seekers. They said you and I had something in common. That we're, well, we're... Go walk. Is it true? You're like me? Yep. Well, kind of. You know about my, uh, situation, right? Nope. 
Right. Well, I'm a host. Always have been. Probably always will be. I'm never alone in my head. Spirits visit. Wanderers, sprites, demons, ghouls, disembodied mystics. Great. You name it, I've chatted with it behind my own two eyes. I'm only hosting one right now, though. And it's a real piece of work. Malady said I should have met one of the gods when I had my vision in the Hall of Echoes. But I didn't. I met it. Alright. Ask if she's sure she wasn't hallucinating. I can tell the difference. It was there, alongside the gods, unlocking the same power in me that they unlocked in you. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna get it the hell out of my head and make it sorry it ever came knocking. What's your deal? Um, well, I spoke to the one of the sevens, and I will be its champion. I'm impressed, Chief. Sounds like no small feat. You know, I never was much of a solo artist. Want to find out what comes next, you know, together? Uh, maybe another time. Sure, whatever suits you. Probably better for you in the end anyway. I'm not always myself, and sometimes not myself is a bit, uh, unpredictable. I know. Anyway, see you around. All right, then we have... What do we have here? Constance. Hello. The Seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. Ow! I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here. Not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. All right, so we'll take our leave. We don't want to talk to Alexander yet. Maybe soon-ish. That mirror, that is really... I'm really wondering what that is about. Hey, Sibyl! We've braved the joy and I lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? That's interesting. Don't, don't she hate lizards as she basically travels with two lizards, like one alive and one dead? You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabeel in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. That's a bit of a problem, right? She is a bit of a loose cannon sometimes. Not a, not a loose cannon. More of a dangerous, she probably will kill you if she gets the chance cannon, kind of. All right, and that's where we want to go. So next time we will investigate um, the mirror. We will talk to Alexander probably, or at least whatever is left of him, and explore this chamber with an undead skeleton cat. Ah! All right, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.